here it's about Percy Bysshe Shelley he's the poet of our next sonnet <clears throat> England in 1819 <clears throat> born in Horsham Sussex Shelley came from a wealthy family and was in line to inherit both riches his wealth and his grandfather's role as an MP, a member of parliament. He went to Eton College and then Oxford, the most prestigious private school in the country and an elite university. He was expelled from university for writing about atheism, not believing in God, which led to him falling out with his father who disinherited him. He prevented him from inheriting his money. In the same year, 1811, he eloped and married aged 19. Eloped means to run away to get married because you're not allowed to in the place where you're from. His bride, Harriet Westbrook, was only 16 and they moved to the Lake District, where Wordsworth was from, where he continued to write. Three years later, 18, after this, Shelley left for Europe with another woman, Mary Godwin, who later became Mary Shelley and wrote the famous novel Frankenstein. Shelley had children by both women. In 1816, Harriet Shelley's body was recovered from a lake and it was thought that she had killed herself. Three weeks later, Shelley married Mary. And in 1818, Shelley drowned at sea during a sailing trip to Italy. So his love life was extremely complicated. He left one woman for another, had children by both of them. The first one killed herself. And then he later on died while sailing off the coast of Italy. And there's an image of them burning his body here on the shore, and the other famous poet, Lord Byron, here, is in attendance in the image. Shelley's politics. He was a well-known radical during his lifetime. He had quite radical politics, and criticised people or systems that believed themselves to be invincible, including the church and what is called orthodox religion the regular religions that people tend to follow in most European societies in this case. For all his commitment to romantic ideals of love and beauty, Shelley was also concerned with the real world. He was a fierce denouncer of political power. He was a fierce kind of critic of political power and a passionate advocate for liberty, someone who spoke with great feeling about the need for people to have freedom. <clears throat> The sonnet England in 1819 is a criticism of the ruling classes of England. George III, the king of England at the time, suffered from mental illness and his son had to take control of ruling the country. So England had a kind of crazy king during this era and the son ended up having to lead on his behalf. Shelley also criticises the other controlling forces in England, the church, the Senate, he calls it, but actually he means the British Parliament, and the army. The sons of the king, the ruling Prince of Wales being one, had fathered numerous illegitimate children, so children out of marriage, created out of marriage with people that they cheated on their wives with, but only two actual legitimate ones. In addition, they had engaged in such diverse and unseemly activities, such as unpleasant activities is gluttony, gambling, incest with a sister, sleeping with a sister, and selling army jobs in exchange for bribing a favourite mistress. They're highly dishonourable people, the sons of the king. The Peterloo Massacre, which is the event that the poem was written about, in response to what took place in Manchester at a demonstration where people gathered to protest laws that were causing famine and unemployment. So this was all about protesting against the laws that were creating famine and unemployment, people losing their jobs. To stop the demonstration, the army charged the crowd with sabres drawn. So the army charged at the crowd with big swords killing 15 people and injuring somewhere between four and 700. And this tragic political incident has been recently transformed into a film by Mike Lee. There's a print here by Richard Carlyle of the Peterloo Massacre. This wild chaos in the centre of Manchester where the army ended up attacking people, 
peacefully protesting against the laws enacted by the government that were leading people to starve and to be unemployed.